Hey. We yeah, I was gonna say, why is that there? I must have done the time trial at some point on this save file. Oh, well. Queen League. And we start with Big Blue 2. Now, I can't actually change the track names. So, you know, Me that's why Mute City 2 is called Mute City 2 and why Big Blue 1 and Big Blue 2 have the exact same name being just Big Blue. Because that's how it works. As I recall, these big blue tracks were some of the earliest ones that I made for this ROM hack. Like, I think they were the first two that I actually made. And, you know, I took them out for a while because I was like, no, I can do better than this. But I put them back in because, you know, I'm... I hit the F-Zero track creating equivalent to writer's block. And, well, I had two track slots left and I had these two big blue courses so I decided to just use them wasn't a very wise move from me, but I thought I was on the final lap when I wasn't. Much better performance than on that first Big Blue course. You can see the AI having some trouble there weaving between the snow. But, you know, I only actually created, like, I only actually made the AI do that behavior because of how they, uh, or excuse me, how they don't navigate um, fire field properly. You know that section with the mines, they swerve between them? You can just drive in a straight line between them. The only reason they swerve there is to make it a little more difficult. That is literally it. That's the only reason they swerve in the fire field, minefield at the start. Of course, if you've ever seen me play this game, then you know that I have a clever solution. Now, uh, I think it's pretty obvious that you can use that little jump pad over there to jump under that other section of track. But, of course... This is, this is also uh, the first ROM hack I ever released as well. Like, not the first F-Zero ROM hack, which it's still technically true, the first F-Zero ROM hack I released, but it's also the first ROM hack I released, period. So. <laughs> and I had been retroactively improving it ever since to match my actual vision for what it should be, and I think it's actually reached there. Now 
But yes, does this look familiar to you? This is Silence 2, and it is so long. You know Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 64? Well, Silence 2 from this game puts that to shame. Like, I think uh, Rainbow Road's like, I don't know, three or so minutes long? Well, Silence 2 is five. So, please don't fuck up and die at the very end. Please don't. I think this was my favorite course in the game when I first released this, but you know, opinions have shifted, and now it's now it's not because of how long it is. I did put in a lot of work to ensure that it's you know all the things I like in an F-Zero course, which is speed boosters and jumps. Mainly. You know, what this hack uh, really ended up teaching me is that F0 SNES is definitely not my uh, thing, I shouldn't ROM hack it. Of course the question is, seemingly, why? Well, I think I've already answered that uh, with the whole Fire Stingray question. Or the whole uh, thing, the whole long segment I had on the Fire Stingray in the last video about how it couldn't do some things. See, we're still not quite done yet. Also, neat little fun fact, the only reason there's a speed booster on that jump, and this upcoming jump, is specifically to prevent you from jumping to the end of the course because you don't have enough control to actually influence yourself to do that. At least that's the idea. You might be able to, but then again, this hack was never that popular, so I guess we're never gonna find out. Well, I mean, it was decently enough, but never really gained an internet presence. Which, you know, that's how most ROM hacks have it, so I'm not upset about that at all. So my emulator is giving me shit. It's really been giving me shit whenever I try and record it. Alright. Yeah, about five minutes. And this is another really old course, however, it's actually from Mute City. I simply put it over Deathwind because, well, Mute City was already taken. That's what all those weird tiles at the side are. And you know, I kept them at the time to look like wreckage. 
which I mean it kind of does, almost. But, you know, certainly not the greatest looking thing in the world, and, you know, if I had the choice now, I would have, you know, if I was actually still maintaining this ROM hack now, I would have uh, removed it. But of course, I'm not maintaining this hack anymore. That's because uh, DX is supposed to be its final version. Unlike a lot of other F-Zero hacks out there, I don't plan on updating it once FZ Edit comes out. Which is the brand spanking new editor that's going to replace Fuzzy right quick. I don't plan on doing anything more with this. And the reasons why I feel are fairly self-evident. It's old, it's janky. I still love it, but there's not much I can do for it anymore. Of course, here we have White Land 2. Now, in one of the courses that we're going to be going to, I think... I'm not fully sure, but one of the courses that uh, we're going to be going to, I think, still has broken AI pathing on these speed boosts. It does something that you're not supposed to do, but I don't think it's this one. I don't know, maybe I will go and make another SNES F-Zero hack, but probably... Well, that didn't work as intended. Uh, anyway, um, I might make another F-Zero SNES hack, but probably not anytime soon. Um, what that was supposed to do, mind you, is it's supposed to drag you down, and then you hit the ground, you know, you fall down and explode, but... I fell directly onto the magnets, which don't count. I would later attempt to address this as best as I could in one of the new tracks for DX that replaces one of the bad older ones. Or, well, not bad, but just unnecessary. And I did take out the fancy schmancy music sample swap pack that this um, thing was you know known for but it was kind of bad actually so I took it out so the original music could dominate and as you can see it now is well I will see you for the King League <laughs> look at him go oh he finished. What can I say? I like watching them go. 